Hey everybody, we're down in the weather center with Rhonda Shelby and Rhonda, another frosty and foggy morning and yes. uh, looks like it's hanging on in a lot of places. Yeah, this is going to be a little different than yesterday in that we ended up getting some clearing in the afternoon, but I don't think this clears out much today. Um, there will be spots in the clouds that do burn off, but I think we're going to stay gray and cloudy for the rest of the day. And do you know after 9 o'clock there is still, gosh, one, two, three, four, five cities reporting fog and quarter mile visibility and temperatures near 30. So that means freezing fog well into the mid-morning before we start to warm up a tiny bit. So let me give you an idea of what's going to happen here. We probably won't see 40 degrees today in much of the area. Burr. Yeah, 40 is actually the best case scenario for the airport today, and that's if we get a little more clearing. 45 is what we're looking at here for tomorrow, and there will not be any fog because clouds are moving in from a storm system from the north, and that basically just stops fog formation altogether. Um, the next day looks like another day where we'll clear out again in the morning and see patchy fog in the morning, freezing fog possible. You see where we have the low temperature and also outside the region where it does get two to three degrees colder, freezing fog for both of those mornings, Thursday, Friday. Finally, some raindrops possible Saturday, but I tell you, I have my doubts that it even rains on that day. Computer models are going back and forth with that one. One minute it looks like a tenth of an inch, next minute it doesn't look like much. Models have a hard time with rain coming in with this kind of weather pattern in place. That's so strong with a ridge of high pressure that just won't budge and very, very dry conditions. So that is still kind of up in the air. Your weekend force cast a bit up in the air, but we'll keep you posted on that. The interesting thing about today and also yesterday is the fact that this cold air inversion, meaning very cold air trapped in the valley and warmer air above it, means you can go to the coast range or the Cascades or even over to the coast and have temperatures be warmer than here today, like near 50 degrees, wow. 3,000 feet up. So, you know, the atmosphere is kind of backwards. Instead of getting colder as you go up in elevation, it's actually getting warmer as you get up in elevation because of the cold air just kind of sinking and trapping into the valley floor. So that's the situation for now. And I don't know that we see uh, much improvement until about Thursday, Friday. We'll get back to a more of a pattern of morning clouds and fog and then afternoon sunshine. What's going on at the ski resorts? Not a thing. No new snow. I mean, we have one possibility of new snow this weekend if we get that rain here in the valley, but uh, at least they're holding the snowpack that they already have. We haven't seen so a lot it's of not melting. melting away. Some of it might, though, here, because now we're going to be seeing temperatures as we did yesterday and today, up around 45, 50 degrees in some of the ski resorts. So yeah, we can start melting. Mm, not good. Yeah, I know. We'll see if we can get some new snow next week. I can tell you this, looking at the extended models, it certainly looks like we get back to a normal flow with more storm systems coming in off the Pacific next week. All right, well enjoy, I guess, the dry-ish weather. Dry-ish, cold-ish. Cold-ish, foggy-ish. <laughs> yes. While it lasts. All right, thanks a lot, Rhonda.